Tagami family fail, the Tagami family fail, the Tagami family fail. Correct! Well done, peasant! But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny! They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! But, but hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense! There's no way that happened a year ago! I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago! If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well, yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Two years has nothing to do with this. This happened a year ago. We were in the school for a few weeks. Huh? Two years ago? You guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Wait, seriously? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. Oh, so what you're saying is... Uh, we attended the school, like it was all perfectly normal to us. And then, when we got into school, we all passed out. We were all passed out for like a whole year. And then, during that process of a year, they erased our memory to make it seem like we were there for a few weeks. And also destroy the world. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us! Answer with all your heart and soul! How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us, if Junko s says it's true, if we first came here two years ago, then the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memories you took from us... Our life at Hope's Peak? I got it! If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? It- that's insane. Losing only two years of memory. That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. So then, why did we get to know each other, like, just then, a few weeks ago? 
And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it, but that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want I want it to be impossible, but if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just... surreal. Plus, if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! To a single class. No, it's okay, that took a while. Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Wizza, wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. This is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's a one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. <clears throat> and whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. Why aren't you gonna explain to us? What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! It's not. What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves. I'm sick of expositioning all this shit. Figure out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where the memories come apart? Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time. my memories. I can't think of any time other than that 
day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall, when I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow! You still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on the desk. I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? <laughs> gone! Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. So that explains the pictures that we saw. Those are... Wow! Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? Interesting. Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it! All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair! Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. So that explains why all the windows and all that stuff are all barricaded, because they don't want us to see what was going what was going on outside like all this really terrible mess that's what i'm getting at all too soon the world's days of peace came to a bloody end and as you can imagine the school was no exception the tragedy even made its way here leading to the extermination of most of the students most of the students what are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history. And the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. 
And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. Wait, so there are people who attended this school before? The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! Ah, I said it twice! Now, someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? The Prime Minister, the Headmaster? I got it! It only been the Headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. So then, why, uh, why make this killing game and have us all kill each other? That's what I, that's what I don't understand. That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. We did it? Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean, we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro have come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. Only let us live? So we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. That's terrible. Why would you do that? What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What the mastermind did show to everyone in the outside world, that was...